All right, this is the speech that I'm supposed to give in one minute. During the Civil War, the volunteer work of thousands of women in the U.S. Sanitary Commission cut the disease rate of the Union Army in half and raised around $25 million in support of the Union war effort. Sanitary fairs were a primary means of raising this money. Lincoln spoke at the closing of a sanitary fair in Washington, D.C. in March of 1864. He said, This extraordinary war in which we are engaged falls heavily upon all classes of people, but the most heavily upon the soldier. For it has been said, All that a man hath will he give for his life, and while all contribute of their substance, the soldier puts his life at stake and often yields it up in his country's cause. The highest merit, then, is due to the soldier. In this extraordinary war, extraordinary developments have manifested themselves such as not have been seen in former wars, and amongst these manifestations, nothing has been more remarkable than these fairs for the relief of suffering soldiers and their families. And the chief agencies in these fairs are the women of America. I am not accustomed to the use of language of eulogy. I have never studied the art of paying compliments to women, but I must say that of all that has been said by orators and poets since the creation of the world in praise of women were applied to the women of America, it would not do them justice for the conduct during their war. I would close by saying, God bless the women of America. How long? 108. 108. I'm eight seconds over and I'm talking so fast I can't speak correctly. So they're going to have to cut this.